Hey, it's Dave White with Quad City Safety. Every day it seems like somebody comes up and asks me about what are all these numbers on the gloves? And there's still some confusion. Recently there was an amendment to the standard. So when you look at the ANSI standard, it points to an ASTM, which is the standard for testing cut resistant gloves in the United States. However, there is also EN388, which is a European standard. So it's a set of tests that are kind of like the test that we do on the ANSI or ASTM side. However, ANSI can still adopt some of EN388, but what we're going to talk about today is the cut score. So when we look at EN388, EN388 will be a score from a 1 to 5. And the problem is, is it generates a number that often people try to assign from one glove to the next. Both of these gloves have the ANSI standard on it, and you will always see them mark pretty clearly. And as we can see, this one's marked an A1. So this glove uh, has realistically no cut resistance or would not uh, be considered a cut resistant glove. This is more of a general purpose. Um, however, when we get into gloves here, we have one that's marked with a four. And again, uh, with that said, uh, when I, I'm sorry, this is actually A7. I, I looked at the wrong number myself. And the cut standard, the new cut standard you will always see is a letter, letter A, and a number from 1 to 9. 1 is the least amount of cut resistance, 9 is the most. And this guy right here is a 7, so there's a large amount of cut resistance in this glove. Ascertaining what level of cut resistance you need requires you probably with your safety professional as well as some help probably from Quad City Safety to determine what those needs are. But again, as we look at the numbers, we're looking again for the ANSI A and a number, which is the right one to look at cut score. If you're looking at one that says EN388 and a number as it relates to cut resistance, you're not looking at the right number.